Hello everyone. In this problem, we have three resistors connected in this manner, and we're asked to calculate the resistance between the point P and point Q. So pause the video and try to solve the problem yourself before you come back for the explanations. Alright, so we are supposed to work out the resistance between point P and point Q. So imagine you have some charges and you are trying to make your way from point P to point Q. So point P is at a higher potential than point Q. So it's like you are trying to make your way from a higher floor to a lower floor. Now notice that uh, this is a zero ohm wire. So all these points are actually at the same potential with point P. Likewise, all these points are at the same electric potential as point Q. So actually there are only just two potential levels in this problem. There's the high floor and this the low floor. So there are three staircases you can take. You can take this one or you can take this one or the, th the third one will be this one. So actually, uh, these three resistors are connected in parallel. Yep, these two circuits are exactly the same. So the effective resistance between points P and points Q is simply the three uh, R's in parallel. And we know the answer is R over 3. Many students like to ask why doesn't the current uh, go this way? across all three resistors. Now ask yourself, if you are the charge, right? If you have already arrived at the lower floor, why would you want to climb back up to the higher floor? Remember, a current always flows from higher to lower potential. So there's no way the current will want to uh, flow from low to high potential here. Problem solved. Ta-ta!